Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. You know what time it is. Listen, we're talking to you guys about Jeannie Mae. Jeannie Mae, Jeannie Mae, Jeannie Mae. Uh, you know I'm always going to screw somebody's name. And Jeezy, and I want to say, listen, black woman, this is not your fight. This is not your fight. It's not your fight. Let the brothers handle this stuff. In fact, brothers, this ain't even our fight. Let Jeezy handle this. Because he decided to go with this, this lady after she had fetishized black men and told us we are the corn on the cob, the coleslaw, uh, the greens, um, the baked beans, okay? The 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 potato salad and then she told you guys you're the, the mac and the cheese and not the full meal what did you expect was going to happen did we expect that this wasn't going to take place when someone tells you who they are and you don't believe them and they do exactly what they said they were they are we're the fool for doing that so i want to say black women this ain't your fight you know and i know you guys are not involved anyway um but i saw some comments in the chat and not in the chat but i saw some comments in a uh, Instagram post just recently as well, which I want to read out to you guys as well. So if you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor, like it, share, subscribe, click on that bell button. We want to talk today about uh, the fact that this is the reason why Jeezy's divorcing her, man, you know? Um, and, you know, Jeannie Mae is showing us why Jeezy wants to divorce you. It's this manipulative type of behavior that we're talking about, which probably played a result in the relationship too. Now, we don't, we totally get it. People like to play a little bit of a game after the divorce is about to happen because... They want full custody, they want child support. But sis, choosing this particular thing that you're going down, saying that you know he had guns in the house and it, you feel like it's unsafe, baby, you were married to him, okay? You were married to him. And as you were married to him, those guns were there before and they're still going to be there, okay? All right? So let's not pretend as if the gun suddenly became an issue when the guns were already there, baby, okay? You never mentioned nothing before. So it shouldn't be a problem now. But we're going to break it all the way down for you guys. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell button for notification of the uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay locked and stay loaded. All right, let's just read this little, um, you know, little uh, thing here. Let's tweet. I saw actually on Twitter as well, funny enough. Um, was a good tweet, uh, which is interesting. A little bit of a racist, a little bit of a prejudice in there, but uh, hey. It says here, Moe Mouse says, um, Ginny May is exactly why I don't take Asians and Latinos seriously. I don't necessarily agree with that particular point, but hey, at any given time, they can play white. Now, that part, I do understand what she's saying. Okay, that's another thing. Jeezy ain't hardly going to harm that baby. He had the same firearms when they was married. Now she's concerned for the baby's safety. Wasn't concerned when they was um, effing. Now, I want to be very, very clear. I do actually understand what she's saying here, right? That, the, that Asians and Latinos can... Some of them, not all of them, white Latinas, can end up playing the Karen role because they are closer to whiteness, proximity-wise, right, in terms of skin tone. Um, and so, so, so in some sense, they can end up playing that Karen role. So I, I get what she means in that respect, right? I try not to go down too much of that rabbit hole, but she has a point. My thing with this situation is that, G, that Jeannie Mae, you knew that he, what he had beforehand, and you knew what it was about. And it's, I, you know, I'm saying it again, Jeezy, you saw these issues with the ex-husband, the way she mistreated him, the way she disrespected him, the way that she, she, she was so uh, dismissive of him, and you thought you were going to be better. You thought it was going to be different. You thought that you wouldn't get the same treatment. And, sir, you get the same treatment. You know, they often say about, you, you know, women get the same, uh, uh, you know, that other ethnicities and other races, sorry, should say, are getting the same black man. Well, my friend, you've got the same woman as well, okay? She did it to a white man, she's going to do it to you too. She talks about how she's more respectful and everything, but look what we're seeing right now, right? Now, don't get it twisted. Jeezy came out and talked about the divorce ahead of time and kind of side, you know, side swiped her. And, you know, she was a little bit surprised by that. But the reality of the situation is this, this, this you're not letting the man see his kids. And that's just a bottom line what it is. And using manipulation to do so. Crying out Karen Wise, going, you know, I'm, I'm afraid of for, for their kids' safety. Ma'am, ma'am, shh, 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 you're lying. Respectively, you're lying, okay? All right, because this is what you guys were doing beforehand, and now you're going to continue doing it. I don't want to hear that. I really don't, you know. Um, and, and I think finally for me, I don't want to keep it too long, I think the Jesus situation with, with Jeannie Mae um, just proves again once more that, you know, snakes are snakes, um, and that we weren't being overprotective or being overzealous when it came to her saying that, you know, black men were the meat, dark meat on the side that she wanted. And that was her mindset and that was her mentality. Also, I've heard her, and it's slightly later, not necessarily now, but it was on the reel at the time when she was on there, 
you know, talking about how the Asian community and the black community, and I can't remember what she exactly said, but it was really kind of ignorant what she said. And I said, oh, this is somebody who's not really, even though they're around black culture and observes it, doesn't actually understand it, doesn't understand the nuances of it, and doesn't really understand the, um, the people within it as well, all the way through. Hence why you always saw Tamar, uh, um, you know, coming at her in some shape or form, because she could probably sense and see the madness in that girl's eye. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. What do you guys think? You know, is it true? Do you feel like in this instance, you know, with Jenny Mai, um, you know, that she's playing the, the Karen card, uh, being also that she is closer to the white proximity? Uh, let me know your thoughts down below. We'd like to definitely have a conversation.